So even though the term separate vehicle was not explicitly decided on after um, Plessy versus Ferguson, it's really important to know that this law had many implications for black people in America following the decision that the court came to. And so this um, decision, they basically gave constitutional sanction to have laws that were designed to have racial segregation by claiming the separate but equal title. Um, and so this resulted in many um, Jim Crow laws being perpetuated in society and being almost affirmed by the, by the U.S. state constitution, uh, by the U.S. constitution, um, and that, that those things were okay. And so it wasn't really until Brown versus Board that you start to see these laws die out, but still they have many implications for black people in America during this time. It was a very easy way for white people to control the narrative and claim separate but equal based off of the decision of Plessy versus Ferguson saying that there was no implied servitude, that the accommodations that they were giving were equal and were, and were, were equal. And um, when they really weren't, and the quality of them weren't and wasn't, and um, the implications that they had were, were not were not pure implications, and they said they were implying that one race is, is inferior to the other. So I think it would be important for you guys to go watch Brown vs. Board. I know someone did a project on that um, right after this or pretty soon after this because it, it really, um, this Plessy vs. Ferguson decision was really not, um, changed and legally made right until Brown versus Board in 1954, which was a really long time, and a lot of people suffered a lot through those times, so yeah.